What up, boys? My hair is doing a crazy thing today. I don't know what the deal is with that, but we have a massive Lego haul here today. Lots of Star Wars stuff, World War II stuff. It's gonna be awesome. Let's check it out. Starting us off first with the uh, newest additions to my Lego collection, we have a couple of Battle Brick customs here that we've purchased. So we have a M5A T-Gun here, US. All, all these are US vehicles from World War II. Uh, I have to say, I really like Battle Brick. Uh, they have clean customs. I don't necessarily love all of their builds. Some of them can be a little iffy, uh, but you always get clean products in the mail, which is a big thing with customs because sometimes you get scraped up dirty products and stuff like that, which you don't want. Um, but yeah, this AT gun, a little bit flimsy, but it looks great. So as long as you don't manhandle it too much, it will do the job. That's, that's a nice one. Uh, we've also got a Willy's Jeep here. I like this build a lot. I think it looks pretty sick. Uh, canister is upside down. That's my B. Uh, yep, Browning 50 cal on the top there. Beautiful, beautiful build. I, I really like this Willys. Uh, I think they did a great job with this one and uh, it's definitely going to be one I keep in the collection for a long time. And then finally, we have ourselves an LCVP Higgins boat here. Ramp does indeed lower, 250 cals here and a driver's seat right there. Even got like a little fire extinguisher in there and some buoys on the side. Uh, yeah, this is a really solid build. I, I like this one a lot. I'm definitely going to be buying a lot more World War II items. You can see a more in-depth video on these and uh, sort of building them from real life examples of these vehicles on the Daily Bricks main channel. But I mean, I did technically buy them recently, so I thought I'd add them to the haul video. Highly recommend these, these are great. Going into the other room, uh, here's my shelf of games and books, uh, mainly retro games and stuff like that that I collect. I only ever purchase retro games if they're sealed for a good price or if they're for a good price at like thrift stores and bookstores and stuff like that. So, you know, most of these I purchased uh, for cheap and stuff like that. That's how I like to collect them. Uh, plus sometimes I'll splurge and buy a game that I really love. Uh, that is more expensive, like this Star Wars Original Trilogy 2 um, PlayStation 2 sealed game. I did spend like 60 bucks on that, which is like MSRP for the time, but you know, it, that, that was a good pickup. A little bit more expensive, but that's okay. Uh, but I came over here because I wanted to show you guys. Oh, Scout got a water bottle. That's fine. Um, Scout, maybe, <laughs> maybe take that away from him. Maybe, maybe you can play with that after we're done recording. It's very loud. Um, we have this. This is a uh, Black Series Halloween Clone Trooper Special. I believe it's a Target exclusive. I thought this was so sick. Um, I didn't buy it when it came out, but I uh, bought it a little bit late and I just wanted it, man. I also think that this Black Series is probably going to end up being worth a lot because it's so unique. I really like that. Uh, then we've also got ourselves this bag here. Hi, Scout. Um, this is filled to the brim with a sponsorship from uh, Fan Home. These are a bunch of encyclopedias and uh, they keep on sending them to me. They sent me like four originally and now I've got like 30 of them. Uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. I haven't opened them all, um, but they just keep sending them to me. I thought they were only gonna send me the four, but they're sending me the entire encyclopedia series. So I just thought that was kind of cool. The, they kind of went above and beyond for that sponsorship by just sending me everything. So I get like four of these every like two weeks or so. I think they're kind of neat. I was thinking of maybe doing a giveaway for them for the podcast, maybe. That, that could be kind of cool, but let's go check out more Lego. Oh yeah, we have a lot of Lego to show you guys today. All right, let's go ahead and start off with some smaller items here. Actually, I think I showed you guys this in the last haul video, but uh, yeah, Mud Trooper Han Solo. Love that guy. I didn't mean to mix him in here, but it is what it is. Next up, we have some more poly bags. These Lord of the Rings poly bags. Uh, I didn't even know Lord of the Rings had Lego poly bags until recently. And once I knew that they did, I scooped them up real quick uh, because these things are absolutely sick, man. I, I really, really like the way these look. I, <laughs> these are awesome. Yeah, and we do have one more of those here. Uh, just this one comes with like a little ballista, I think is what that's supposed to be. Man, <laughs> once I learned about these poly bags, I snapped them up right quick. I love Lord of the Rings. Um, then I also have four Gungans here. Um, this is for a project, probably not gonna come out for a few weeks. I've still got to do a lot of purchasing for this one. 
That's the thing with daily bricks is right now I basically break even on all the money I've made um, on it. Last month uh, I made $6,000 on daily bricks and uh, uh, with all of the expenses for Lego and stuff because you know each video call costs a lot. I think I I netted like a thousand dollars, but I bought enough stuff recently that I think it should last me a few months. Scout has the water bottle again. Oh my goodness. Okay, water bottle retrieved. But yeah, so I think, uh, you know, just based on everything, uh, next month I shouldn't have to spend any money on Lego uh, unless I want to. But this month I ended up basically recycling all of the Daily Bricks income back into Lego stuff. So that's a little sneak peek on how much money you might make if you're a Lego YouTuber month by month. Uh, it was 4 million views, $6,000, uh, but I think like 2 million of those views came from shorts where you basically make no money. So just take that all into account. Uh, and yeah, I should have supplies for the next month or two for Lego videos, so I shouldn't have to buy too much more crazy stuff. Last month, I did buy like a Cloud City Boba Fett and stuff like that, which I still own all of those figures, so I can get the $6,000 back. Um, but, you know, I did go a little wild on the spending. Okay, next up, we do have some more vintage Legos. I showed off some vintage Lego stuff I purchased uh, in the last video, but we do have some more. This isn't sealed. You can buy old Lego system stuff like this, not sealed for pretty cheap. I think this was like 30 bucks, which isn't that bad considering it's really old. So I was pretty happy about this. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna take it all out, but should be complete in box, which is nice. And they even sorted all of the pieces. Very interesting. Huh. I wonder if they bought the missing pieces off Bricklink or something like that. I'm not sure. It's weird that they're all in these little bags, but whatever. Um, yeah. Either way, I feel like uh, something people usually don't tell you on YouTube is like what they make from YouTube and stuff like that. Uh, and I can understand why people want that privacy. Um, but since Daily Bricks is my second channel and not my main source of income, and it's really a a thing I'm investing in right now, I felt like, hey, it's kind of cool to be transparent a little bit. Uh, so, either way, then we've got ourselves this droid carrier right here, which I think is pretty sick. Um, I think it's missing a couple of pieces that I'm gonna have to find, but overall it's for the most part complete, uh, which is good. This is like one of my favorite sets of all time, so I'm really hyped about this one. Uh, it should be really cool. On top of that, uh, oh, I showed off this one last time. This is just a droid carrier, uh, a mini version. And then we've also got ourselves here a Lego AAT. This sucker is going to be used again in, a, in another video. Luckily, this one came built. No instructions, so uh, I would have had to look up the instructions, which can always be kind of a pain. But yeah, pretty nice that this basically came built. Uh, looks like we have a couple pieces falling off here. That's okay. Uh, this is just such a classic AAT, man. I, I really love this thing. This is like my favorite um, variant of the AAT, possibly. Really, really solid. <laughs> I like this one a lot. On top of that, we do have a uh, couple of different uh, Lego sets and stuff like that here, too. We've got the uh, Gungan Patrol from episode one. Um, this one was actually pretty expensive. Weirdly enough, this, this set is expensive. I don't, I don't know why fully, uh, but yeah, it cost me a little bit to get this one. Um, and I want to get more of these guys uh, for, I, I want to recreate the Battle of Naboo, if you couldn't tell, from all the Gungans and stuff. So I want to get at least like two more of these guys, but it might be tricky getting the supplies for that. It's just kind of expensive. Um, and then of course we have another battle droid carrier here. So we have the, the three generations of battle droid carriers right here. Uh, and then we do have, uh, one second guys. Okay, I couldn't quite get it to fit into frame. Girl, what are you doing? I couldn't get it to fit into frame quite well. <laughs> so here we've got a Trade Federation MTT. This is, oh my God, what are you, what are you doing, ma'am? Um, <laughs> this thing is sick. It's open, it's not sealed. Uh, this is the OG. The one from, I think, like 2008 was the one I always wanted as a kid. I'm still planning on buying it at some point, but this was the OG version. Um, it's, it's weird. It's got really weird colors to it. It's not super well built, but I thought it was cool. Um, 
50 bucks sealed for this bad boy would be insane. I have a feeling this right now sealed is probably like $500 or something like that. Don't quote me on that. I haven't seen one sealed actually uh, on eBay in a while. So I, I think they're kind of rare, uh, but this one is complete in box, which is nice. Uh, I paid 150 for this one, which is not bad. Uh, I wanted to show off the instruction booklet because I thought this was really cool. I, I kind of forgot they did this actually. Um, I had a few sets from this era when I was a kid. This is when I first got into building Lego with my dad. Let me move the tripod out of the way. Um, but uh, yeah, I had a few sets like this and I completely forgot that they used to add little comic books to the set, which was super cool. I, I forgot about this. It was so fun to like finish the set. Then you get a little comic book and then they get into the alternate builds. They're like, oh, hey, by the way, if you get bored with this build, go ahead and make it into a mech. Like, bruh, it, it's really cool how, how they did this and they, tapped it into the storyline. Like, that's so cool. They just don't do this anymore. I don't know why. Okay, the very last thing I have to show you today is this really, really old school Lego product here. Um, now this thing, I'm pretty sure, is just sort of like, like a very creative box. Like, they give you some, this fell out. That's a weird track. Oh, it must be for the train? I've never seen a Lego like this. Um, yeah, I, I think it's supposed to be the main build is the house, but you can do all of these different alternate builds and stuff like that. And this is actually before minifigs. This predates minifigs where you just build your own minifigure out of it. I think this is really, really cool. Um, hi, Reyna. This, this thing I'm super stoked about. I love this kind of Lego history. I know it's not everyone's favorite, I know a lot of people just like kind of like, you know, Star Wars and stuff like that, but I, I get really into the like the history of Lego minifigures and stuff. Um, that is precarious, ma'am. What are you doing? Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.